Hello, my name is Carl Bluss, <coughs> and uh, I'm going to show off this um, Platinum PTL 5000, which normally does not come in a, um, uh, I guess you can call it inexpensive maquillage process. Uh, this one actually sold on uh, eBay by a shop called Angelica. So, I can show you that. They, uh, they don't mention these pens on their auction as being platinum. Um, they seem to do that a lot with their um, pens. Uh, platinum. And this actually has a 14 karat gold uh, extra fine nib on it. Uh, let me see if I can Got to focus on here at all. You probably have this one. Oh, okay, now. Yeah. <coughs> it doesn't say extra fine right on an air, but it's actually at a um, sort of a kanji. Right underneath the um, the P. Hmm. Uh, right now I got Yoshizuku Tsushi. Uh, uh, Tsushiji. So I believe it's uh, Japanese for Azaya. It's a little dry at the moment. I don't normally play it with it. So I can get some eyes out of it there. This scratch here. Uh, it does have some degree of flux to it. Fine. Dmx in there. Oh. Right. I'm actually shooting this under a um, strobe with a big soft box on top, and my head is about I'd say about six inches away from the modeling lamp, so it's getting a little warm under here. Right, let me see if I can get a close-up here. I don't know if I can bring up the brightness. I will try the advanced settings here. Uh, I suppose i bring that up a little bit. Uh, probably not the job. Con just contrast just uh, a little bit there. Probably bring the gain up. Okay. That'll probably work. Uh, see if I can get this thing to focus for me. Ah, that's what I was doing wrong. I was going backwards. There we go. I zoom out just a little bit. I really like having manual focus on this thing. Anyways, this is the uh, close-up there. You can I see the, uh, oops, see if I can rotate it there for you. See the little kanji there for the extra fine. Got the, uh, clear plastic, clear plastic feed, and I'm apparently facing the wrong way for the microphone. So if you can't hear me, I apologize. Of course, uh, my, uh, speech isn't all that great anyway, so <laughs> I'll try to caption it. Uh, but I actually won this on eBay for about 50, $52, $53 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this portion of the pen is actually going to be pretty much unmodified from a standard PTL 5000. 
However, this portion is an aftermarket job. Let's see if I can get some details there. It's uh, not the greatest looking thing in the world, but it might have some glitter or gold or whatever they sprinkled on there. But the rest of it pretty much seems hand painted. There is a little bit of an issue with uh, that Yoshi coming off a little bit. I don't even know if you can see it on the end here, but you can see there's a little chip in there. Uh, I actually tried to repair that, and uh, my advice is do not try to repair Yoshi on your own. You will bubble that stuff away. Uh, nail polish will eat that right up. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> uh, probably consult with some of the message boys before trying to do any of uh, your do it yourself work on lacquer and Yoshi and, well, anything delicate. Uh, I'll show you the cap detail. I mean, it's not bad, but um, it took a while just for me to um, not be so delicate with it. You know, I was afraid I was going to strip the thing right off. Might actually be getting some of that you see off of here. Yep. Let me see if I can show you here. Uh, that's some of that lacquer coming right off the metal there. that off. But um, yeah, it's not, it's not the uh, greatest job in the world, but you know, for for a pen that normally costs you around 50 to uh, $80, uh, I, think, I think SPR Brown got his PTL 5000 for about uh, 49 British pounds from Colt Pens. And that was, um, that was, you know, not painted up or anything. And I know you can get these from Rakuten. Uh, I think it's like a, uh, sort of a Japanese multi-store site. You know, that was around 50, 50, $60 after the conversion. So, I got this for 52 shipped from Japan with the paint job on it. Uh, I think I came out ahead. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what's inside. Oh, it did come with a um, converter. Uh, let me zoom out a little. Yeah, that's a little easier to see. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. There's resin. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much a, a lighter weight pen. Uh, that did come with a uh, platinum converter. Uh, on some stores like um, Rakuten, they generally do not come with the converter. Uh, you might get a cartridge instead, so make sure you order one. If you, uh, Otherwise you won't get this, you might just get a cartridge. I'll put that back together. Uh, let me see how well the scribble does. Uh, and I would not recommend posting this unless you want that um, that lacquer to go away faster. <coughs> so, see here, it gets a bit dry, but normally it's not quite that dry. I think I'm running out of ink. There we go. I'd actually need to clean that a little bit. Try some upside down here. <laughs> yeah, it's funnier when it writes better upside down than it does up uh, the quick side. Yeah, let me try pushing this in. I noticed that while I cannot remove the nib, I can actually pull this forward a little bit. You know, where it stops like that and push it back a little bit. Um, I think it controls the dryness. Because oh, I did have, um, I actually had Nitter with Black Yell in here once, and that worked out pretty well for the most part. Oh, 
I think the brightness is too bright again. Focus is off again. Yay, sorry about that. Uh, she had a couple of things. So, uh, she had one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten. It'll take about two seconds. But, uh, but if I, uh, uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten. Yeah. <coughs> uh, this is a uh, Rodeo 80 gram. Um, can't think of much else. Uh, oh, on eBay, this goes under the name of Wunsch. Yeah, one share limited. Uh, they will not say that it is a uh, platinum pen in the auction listing. Uh, they will actually have the um, the P uh, photoshopped out of the pen because uh, you won't even see the um, platinum in the picture. I don't even know if that's grounds for item not described, but whatever. <coughs> Uh, that's all I can think of for now. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments. So, see you later.